Welcome back folks, this is Steve, KM9G, and I picked up a QRP Labs QCX Mini Transceiver Kit. This is the... I think they did a bigger kit, and this is the smaller kit, but what I got was the QRP Labs QCX Mini, I got the 50 watt PA, I got the transistor controlled oscillator, the TCXO, to go with it, and I'm going to open it up and see what came in the package and what my initial thoughts are. So stick around for that. Oh, and all that stuff down below, the whole like button, join, subscribe, comments, all that kind of stuff. You guys know what to do. You've seen a YouTube video before. And if you haven't, I do ham radio stuff. I mean, it's a QCX mini kit. What were you expecting? Singing bears? I don't know. Stick around. Okay, this is going to be the start of a new series on the channel. This is the QRP Labs QCX Mini 5 Watt CW Transceiver Kit. And as part of the kit, I got the aluminum enclosure, the 50 watt amplifier, the enclosure for the 50 watt amplifier, and the TXCO, the TCXO, transistor controlled oscillator transistor, something along those lines. Anyway, let's get a look in here and see what this stuff is. So that looks like a couple of heat sinks. And since they're heat sinks, I'd say they probably go to the amplifier. What else do we have? That was the small one. So let's continue the trend of smallest to largest. Trying my best not to cut myself here. But I know you guys got my back. Oh, hope that's part of the case. It made a clunk when it hit the desk. Yep, that would be the case. All right, so there is the front plate for the case. That's pretty sexy looking, I like that. So display area, volume control, gear, receiver interval tuning, menu, VFO AB, preset AB. We got some, some feet and some case parts. Looks like some sides. And a back. This thing's gonna be a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be if this is the front and the back of the case. Yeah, wow, that's gonna be, oh, I see how it goes. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice small little rig, look at that. So that's the front of it, and then that would be the sides and the back and the top. Okay, perfect, we'll slide those pieces into that case and stick it off to the side. This looks like more case parts. very well packed so it's not going to scratch itself in shipment. So this must be the amplifier kit. And that's pretty small as well. So they are the same size side by side so that's nice. And they're the same same height and thickness and all that jazz. This one's just wider than this one is. Not bad at all. And there's your additional case parts. So we'll do the same thing. We'll slide those in. This doesn't appear to have a uh, front and back setup. And then there is some spots for the heat sink. So that's going to be pretty neat looking. All right. So there's the casing out of the way. So that means that this is all the rest of the kits. And that's a big, big box, big bag, big bag full of stuff.
All right, so this is the QRP Labs QCX Mini CW Transceiver, and this is the QRP Labs 50 watt amp. I think the amp might have more parts than the radio. I don't know, it's about even. Oh, I see some toroids to wind. Okay, let's take a walk through oh, that bag. That was harder to open than it should have been. All right, so there's two boards in here. Looks like the surface mount parts are already surface mounted. All right, crystal. LCD, ISP, frequency counter, power connector. Okay, this ought to be fairly interesting to put together. Cat, PTT. And then this is a secondary board. It's a little bit bigger than the primary board. Okay, so this is for the toroids it looks like. No, this is front panel control. Yep, that's front panel stuff. Okay, so that would stand up on the front panel. Okay. And this is all first looks without taking a look at the instructions, in case you couldn't tell already. Uh, let's see, put that one back in that bag. Put that one back in that bag. Let's see what kind of goodies we have in here. All right, everything's in individual bags. I like that. This is the low pass filter kit, couple of toroids, some magnet wire, and a couple of caps to get this thing on 20 meters. Nice. This is the TCXO. Not too shabby there. Bunch of little parts, audio jacks, BNC connector, some more magnet wire, potentiometer, some standoffs and some standoff screws. Okay. So these are more toroids and more nylon screws. This looks like firmware, T1.07A. Chip socket for the firmware. Chip. Power connector. Pin headers. Fancy knobs. Trim pots. And the crystal. And that's dead on 20. And what do we have in here? Okay, there's the LCD display with a couple of blobs on it. And some indication of what the pinout is of the 16 pins. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Put all this stuff back in this bag so we don't lose these parts because that would stink. This is the 50 watt amplifier kit. That bag was already open. Some inductors, some transformers, resistors. Yep, the amplifier looks like it'll be easier to put together than the radio. But I kind of expected that. Right, what kind of stuff do we have with the amplifier? That's some thick wire. That's going to be fun. That's some not as thick wire, but this is some pretty strong stuff too. 
capacitors, toroids, Oh, this one comes with a little bag, a little box inside here. Let's see what's in the box. More toroids. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of sewing. Toroids and... What is that? I can't read that through the label, through the box. But I'm not going to open it up just yet. We'll save that for when we get there. And the two BNC connectors going in. Power connector, LED, resistor packs, diodes. Okay, and we did not get any documentation, but I would expect that there is fantastic documentation online that we can print out and take a look at. So I'm gonna put this back in the bag so I don't lose any of these parts. And I don't know which one I'm gonna start with first, if it's gonna be the transceiver, or the power amplifier, the PA. I don't know, you let me know, but this is the first impressions of the uh, QRP Labs QCX Mini CW Transceiver Kit. I got mine for 20 meters, and I'm going to start putting it together and figure out how that's going to work out. So, there you go. Let me know if you got one of these kits and uh, maybe uh, if you want to help build along with it or if you want to leave a link in the Toad's Discord to a picture or two of the one that you built um, and then we will try and make an on-air contact when we get that far in the kit. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I'm overwhelmed or scared or excited. It's going to be a big project, and I kind of don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, I will be dropping regular videos at regular intervals that make sense to stop the project, which could just be, oh my god, I don't know what to do next. Um, so stick around for the journey. Make sure you're subscribed to see all of it, and I'm looking forward to any comments. If you've built yours and you have some pointers for me, I would love to hear them because I'm just getting started with this thing, and if you haven't, get one and build along with me and maybe we can figure this thing out together. So, thanks for being awesome. <music>